572 pounds and some change. That's going to do it. Well, good afternoon, Big Rock fans joining us around the world on Big Rock TV. And those of you joining us here at the beautiful Moorhead City waterfront, welcome to day two of the record-breaking 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Tommy Bennett again here with you. Pleased to be joined by my fellow board member, Curtis Strange. Uh, Curtis, a, a lot's going on today. Uh, to me, the story is the weather, big change from yesterday. And then we've got two blue marlins in the boat headed to the scales. Yeah, let's get right to it, Tommy. You thought yesterday was exciting. We're going to have the first one on the uh, on the sea toy in here in about 30 or 35 minutes. Look forward to that. And the lady, Diane, has just boated a blue. So give her about two hours. She should have been in here too, but it's going to be good stuff. And the word on the street is the sea toy, it's a nice fish. Yeah, so uh, that, that nice fish means they're entered in the yes, level yes, five yes. category competition, the fabulous fisherman's level, $739,500 available, Curtis, to the first fish that weighs uh, 500 pounds that hits the dock. Uh, sea toy ought to be a very popular um, boat here mm -hmm. at Big Rock Landing, uh, Captain Bull Tolson. Uh, the boat and Captain Bull Tolson, well known around the world. He has fished in this tournament for a long time, has never weighed a fish at Big Rock Landing. Well, there's a first time for everybody. Like you said, well known around the world, won money in tournaments from here to, like you said, around the world, but from just up the uh, coast of North Carolina. And uh, good man. We hope he has a big one. But uh, so far today, 48 blue marlin released, okay? Been a good bite. Two white marlin released and four sails. So the guys are on the fish. I think mostly they're up north. Would you would you I, guess I don't on know. That? I kept waiting for Thomas yeah. to uh, tell me where he was and I hadn't heard anything from him today, but um, what wherever they are, the fishing is uh, continuing to be yeah. red hot. 54 releases and that was as of about 15 minutes ago, yeah, yeah. Curtis. So I think we've had maybe a few more to add to that total. Uh, we also mentioned the Lady Diane early on. Uh, Lady Diane put on quite a show in the uh, KWLA tournament on Saturday. So I would imagine that the celebration when they hit Big Rock Landing will be uh, epic. By whatever do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see. The best way to describe that is the, they were, the ladies' tournament. Of course, there's an awful lot of excitement during the ladies' tournament. They had eight or ten women on the boat on Saturday, and they weighed in a 37, 38-pound dolphin. I think they finished in second place. But they celebrated nonstop for 15 minutes. I mean, whooping and hollering for 15 minutes straight. It was the single best celebration I've ever seen, and I've been doing this for 34 years. It was really something. So, All right, once again, to everybody, thanks for coming out. we got two fish coming in. Uh, remember, we all do this for our charities here, Charity First here at Big Rock. The store, retail store is right over here. Just to let you know, if you go buy anything over there, it goes directly to the charities, okay? So thank you for coming out. Enjoy. Uh, thanks for all of our sponsors. Um, and these four men right here, Tommy. You got it. You, we'll talk to them in just a second. But as Curtis said, have a, have a great afternoon. We'll be back with you here with the Sea Toy. Uh, you know, 30 minutes or so, and uh, trust me, it will be a very exciting afternoon, as Curtis said. Stay with us. We'll be here with you through the rest of the day on day two of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament.
All right, good afternoon again to uh, everyone joining us on Big Rock TV all around the world and those of you who are here with us on the Moorhead City Waterfront. Uh, as day two of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament continues, uh, we're pleased to be joined by his honor, the mayor of Moorhead City, Mr. Jerry Jones. Jerry, welcome to Big Rock Landing. Uh, tell, tell us what the, uh, what the tournament means to, uh, to Moorhead City. Well, first of all, I would like to uh, let everybody know this is my 65th Big Rock <laughs> Tournament in Moorhead City. Not to tell my age like, <laughs> like I tell my buddy on the radio this morning. But uh, just on behalf of the citizens of Moorhead City, and, and, and we're going to expand on that in a moment, um, you, you don't have to look very far to see what the impact of, of the Big Rock Fishing Tournament is in Moorhead City. And it, you don't have to look back very far to recognize the significance, not just in Moorhead City, but throughout our community, throughout our, our, our county, and even throughout our state. You know, this started as just a small waterfront fishing tournament. It has grown you know, much, much larger than that now. And it's no longer, in my opinion, the, the, the Big Rock Blue Marlin Fishing Tournament. It is the People's Tournament. You, you look at all the money that's been distributed throughout Carter County, not just Moorhead City, and not just within the community of Beaufort and, and our neighbor and other Newport communities, but throughout Carter County. This is the People's Tournament. This is, and, and you've, you've heard the, the expression to play it forward. Well, we keep playing it forward that it keeps coming back around. And we're playing it forward through a circle because every year it gets better and better and better. And, and that's not just because of us catching these big fish out here. This, you have to go back to, to the volunteers, to the board of directors, to the staff, to the sponsors, even the people that are here today, the, the spectators, um, the participants in the fishing tournament. And they see the significance here and, and what it's meaning to our community. So these people just keep coming back. They keep sponsoring every year. They keep giving them themselves. And, and it's just getting bigger and better. You know, the biggest asset of any community are the people that live there and the people that keep contributing to the community. And that's what it means to Moorhead City. This is such a significant people's tournament, the Moorhead City Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Well, th those are awful kind words. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. The, the, the relationship between the tournament and the town uh, is, a, is a great relationship, been going on for, for a, a long, long time. Uh, you mentioned giving, giving back. When I look over at that statue over there, uh, that fountain, it looks pretty nice, too. Yeah, I remember that. You know, we had to sell that back then. That was a big, big step for more. That, this is public-private partnership. And that, that was at a big, best. at his best. And, you know, uh, 10, about 10 years or so ago, uh, we partnered together with the Big Rock Tournament, and we, we, uh, we have a, a beautiful fountain. I mean, something we'd be proud of. You see it all over the world. You see it in magazines. You see it on TV. Um, and people just sit around it and if you people out in the audience if you get the opportunity you can buy a brick paver and have your name immortalized at the, at the base of this uh this this fountain it's significant mr mayor i'm honored to be with you for the second time today had you on had you on the radio this morning but i'm just looking around here and thinking how unique this is and how proud you've got to be i mean as we look around and see all these uh, hundreds of people that have come to moorheads thousands this week you know, they come out here. I mean, you know, how many towns in America have have this kind of a, a phenomenon take place and have people like Michael Jordan show up and those kind of things? I mean, Moorhead City has become a very special ground zero for this event. Very ground zero, especially for me. With the first Big Rock tournament the year I was born, I lived on the Moorhead City waterfront. The homes are no longer here. They're all businesses now. So I grew up on this waterfront, and I remember the early days during the Big Rock tournament where you, you, I mean, back then, if you had a 35 foot boat, we called it a yacht, the sports fishermen, and they were all diesel. They all went about 10 knots. They'd leave in the mornings about 3.30 to get out to the Big Rock, just drop their lines about 10.30. About two, they'd be heading back to make it back to the scales on time. But the significance of Moorhead City is, is, is the, the impact is tremendous, as you can see, just all over. I, I know all of my friends right now, if they're not down here, because we have a big crowd, they're glued to to the uh, to their iPads, to their computers, to their phones, just watching these broadcasts and just seeing who's coming in, and and it's just so exciting. And and you know when we get a, a fish close to the boat, everybody runs down here. This is like New York's <laughs> Grand Central Station down here. I actually parked in my house. I live across the railroad tracks and walked I, over here. I parked across I could, the railroad I, tracks too. The could crowd was that big already. Place, but, I got lucky yeah. today. I found a parking yeah. space right there when somebody was pulling out. <laughs> you got here but early. you know, yet you talk about Big Rock TV and the impact that it's had. Uh, the great job that Josh has uh, done. Yeah. 
Tommy and Curtis that do such a great job with this. And um, it's a, I was I was around town yesterday. Everybody's got it on, but I'm here. I was hearing from people from all over the East Coast yesterday that were seeing us on TV. So Moorhead City is front and center, and this is a great opportunity to shine. Yeah, and you mentioned Michael Jordan and Curtis Strange. And I'm proud to say, you know, we're, we're, we're all good friends with Curtis Strange if you're involved with the Big Rock Tournament. He's a, Speak of the devil. Yeah, Come there, in here, there Curtis. He is. <laughs> you know, Mayor, you're a good man, and I like you, but all, we got a boat coming in here about 300 yards down the road, so get the hell out of here. <laughs> we're going to blow, we're gonna blow the mayor. <laughs> These people love you. A good hand for uh, Mayor Jones here. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry hey, look. Thank, thank you for joining us today. Thanks uh, from the uh, our major sponsor, Jarrett Bay Boat Works, and our board of directors, our entire staff. Uh, thank you so much uh, for everything that you do for us. I know you got a council meeting tonight. I hope you pass that along in your council meeting tonight. Yeah, we do. We do. But I'll be back down here. It's Good. exciting. You're welcome here anytime. We, we, if we thank can you, get Mary. rid of these four strapping young lads right here, you can have one of these seats, too. All right? Yeah, well, we need some bus <laughs> we'll, we'll get to them in a minute. Yeah, we'll need some these are our special guests all of a sudden today. So. All right. The Sea Toy will be here momentarily. Apparently, they're on the way. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thanks for uh, opening up the streets of Moorhead City to us. We appreciate it. So let's get ready to welcome the Sea Toy here uh, to Big Rock Landing, Captain Bull Tolson, who's fished with us for years, going to make his inaugural appearance at Big Rock Landing. Okay, Big Rock fans, am I on here? Okay, Big Rock fans, let's welcome the Sea Toy here with an appropriate Big Rock welcome. The Sea Toy is entered in level five, the fabulous fisherman's uh, level. First 500 pound fish on the dock is gonna walk away with a cool $739,500. Bull doing a great job showing off that 59 Spencer here. Uh, at Big Rock Landing. Beautiful boat built right here in North Carolina up in Wan Cheese. Again, the Sea Toy fishes all over the world. Bull Tolson, one of the most recognized captains in the world, has never set foot on Big Rock Landing with a Blue Marlin. Today will be his first appearance. All right, let's welcome him here. Come on, let him hear it. And just to give you an idea of what's going on, our, our two waymasters, uh, Randy and George, will hop in the cockpit here in a minute, take care of a little paperwork first, and uh, take some measurements. And then we'll put the, uh, the big boys to work and get this blue marlin out of the cockpit.
You know, you see a lot of a lot of hugs already in the cockpit. Uh, Captain Bull Tolson, very well known, very highly respected, and very well liked, obviously. Been at it for quite some time, made a lot of friends. All right, remember, we are looking for 500 pounds to win the level five prize. But just a check of the leaderboard yesterday, C student out of Texas is in the lead with a 470 pound blue marlin. All right, let's encourage these boys here. All right, 463.7 pounds. Not going to make that 500 pound mark and is going to land in a very solid second place right here on the C toy. We'll check the earnings here in a second, but we'll get the, uh, the captain and crew out here for some reaction. A beautiful blue marlin landing in second place here on day two of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. We're gonna take some pictures of the captain and crew and uh, we'll talk to our angler and to uh, Captain Bull Tolson here shortly and get them over to talk to all of our media guys at the same time. So there you have it, 463.7 pounds a solid second place blue marlin on the sea toy here on day two of the 65th annual big rock blue marlin tournament That, when you when you pull that first time and you say
All right, everybody, let's hear it one more time for Captain Bull Tolson, our angler Lex Harris, a 463.7 pound blue marlin, landing in a solid second place here on day two of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. So stay with us. Uh, scales will be open until 7 o'clock tonight, just for those of you that are gathered here. We expect uh, the Lady Diane here, and uh, at some point we'll check the ETA on that, and lots of game fish. Curtis, take it away with uh, Captain Bull Tolson. Captain Bull Tolson, after all these years, finally at the weigh station. Uh, good things that always come to those who wait. How many, how many years has it been? Since 1988. 1988. Stop the scales. So what did you think coming in? How big? I actually thought it was a little bit bigger, but I think our tape is off. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. So uh, exciting, congratulations, but maybe a little disappointment? Well, you're never disappointed. Yeah, always, exactly. always just glad to be here. Yeah. Good for you. Congratulations, guest from the bar. All right, Captain Bull Tolson.
same thing. You got, do you have it on your phone or anything? Let's do the same thing here. You going? All right, Lex. Curtis, how you doing? Nice fish. Congratulations. Tell us what happened out there. Well, you know, the fish uh, showed up on the on the uh, shotgun, came directly at it, didn't make a swoop, nailed it. We cleared the lines. Two hours, 15 minutes later, a handful of attempts at the leader and um, had probably had 12 passes at that. And then we finally were able to, to wear it down. Spunky fish. We actually thought since it was taking so long with your captain being so good that it might have died on you. Yeah, no, it wasn't the case. Still still in still in great shape. Bull did an excellent job as usual. Um, she was feisty. We just we thought she was a little bit bigger. Well, anyway, great fish. It's never disappointed, as your captain said. All right, have a good one. Good luck the rest of this week. Thanks. All right, well, let's say goodbye to the sea toy. Congratulations, Captain Bull Tolson, angler Lex Harris. There's your second place blue marlin, 463.7 pounds here on day two of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. We are expecting the Lady Diane uh, here later on this afternoon. We will check that ETA and give it to those of you watching at home and here uh, at the dock. So while we await those of you who are here, uh, look around a little bit. Great, beautiful afternoon here. Lots of boats. All of our sponsors are out. The Big Rock store is open across the street. And remember, everything that you buy at the Big Rock store, those profits go straight to charities. So stay with us as day two of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament rolls on right here at Big Rock Landing. Hey folks, let's welcome these guys who will come down today representing the armed services right here. Some of these guys are from uh, Fort Bragg. Are you all from Fort Bragg? Where are you from? 
This is the Havelock Army Recruiter. Anybody want to sign up? He'll take your application today, won't you? $80,000 bonuses. Did y'all hear that? $80,000 bonuses being offered right now. Where do I sign? Am I too old? <laughs> That's a pretty good bonus. Wow. You don't think I can do the run? You know what? I think you're right. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your service and for coming down today. Good to see you all. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. So, wait a minute. Tell me more about the $80,000 bonus. Uh... I'll say I'll say this right. It depends on the job that you pick, um, but at the same time, uh, certain jobs is going to range different from um, different bonuses and so forth. But the army's offering as much opportunities as possible, especially education, which we know is very important to a lot of people. So, if you are having problems, you know, basically paying for your tuition, the army will cover it if you're going active duty as well as reserve. So you can reach out to your local army recruiter, and we'll take care of you. I will tell you, this guy's good, but I'm looking out here in the crowd, and I don't see one person that looks like they're capable of doing that. <laughs> Maybe one or two of you out there, yeah. some of these young guys. Hey, thank you. Thank you for what you do, and thank you for our, your service. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah, baby. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen up. George is going to do his thing. We're going to be nice. Very seldom am I ever nice. But I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull this gate open a little bit, and I'm going to let mamas bring their family, children, to stand by the fish and get a picture. One family at a time. One comes in, one goes out, one comes in. Everybody understand that? So you need to be over here in the line, and we'll do it for a little while. Who's first? We got you. All right, what? back up a little bit. <laughs> you need some milk? No, I got it. All right. All right, come on. Well, hold on a minute. Let's, Ma, who's taking a picture? You? Okay. Thank you. All right, come on. You, one on each side of the fish. Oh, brother's going to get in there now. All right. Take your sunglasses off. We want to see your pretty face. There you go. All right. Big Rock hat she got at the Big Rock store. Oh, yeah. Where, where'd y'all get them hats from? Oh, Chasing Tails. Big Rock. Come on, girl. You're good. Yeah, you have. Have y'all bought anything? For, you got to buy something from the Big Rock now. <laughs> I, cha I changed the rules. Uh, hey, little man. All right, now y'all got to back up and make room. Come on, little buddy. Have you got two Big Rock things or just one? I'm with you. All right, let's turn right here. All right, up. Hey, 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 don't look at that man. He's always over there under the table. Look out here where everybody's at. Always smile. Remember, you got to keep a smile on your face. No frowning. You good? All right, Hot Rod. All right, you feel better now? Let's go. All right. All right. Thank you, thank you. All right. Who's next? Come on, ma'am. All right, buddy. Hey, Randy, NC State Wolf Pack. What do they do? How, how do you, how the Wolf Pack do? You know the little signal they use? There you go. Look at it right there. Mr. Randy's a wolf pack man. There you go. Let's get over there by that. Mom, you want in there? We'll get somebody to take your picture. Sure. Sir, you don't have any children. You know these are going in my personal file. Thank you, guys. All right. Hold, 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 hold. Back up. Back up. Got to let them clear, and then we'll do it. How about my little guys right here in the orange? Have you got your picture taken? Do you want your picture taken? You can't. All right, come on. This way. All right, who all is in the picture? Mama, Daddy, Santa Claus. Come on, right on over here. Keep coming. Come here, honey. I ain't going to let it bother you. Turn around right here. Back, uh, come over this way a little bit. There you go. You get on one side. You two little oranges get on that side. One with mom, one with dad. There you go. All right, everybody, smile. Hey, good. All right. Yes, ma'am. All right, where's my next children? I need my next children. Okay, Hope, go ahead. I'll let my fellow soldiers go. Hey, right, I need to get in there with you.
All right, get them guys a hand. Look at it. That's the United States Army. Ain't nothing like it. Spent a lot of time with them in the Army. Who's next? Who's next? You coming, ma'am? Is your sister? You're no, sister? Mom. Oh, you're not their mom? Their dad's in the Marines, and he's oh. deployed. All right, well, you're going to get in the picture with him. Give him your camera. All right, this is a mother and two children, and their dad is in the Marine Corps, and he's deployed right now. Say a prayer for him tonight. Yes, ma'am. All right, big guy. Don't make me have to hurt you. Next. Come on. Who who are these big guys? My husband and my dad. And my kids. I thought this was this was your sister. Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. No, not. All right, come on, husband and dad. There go Michael Jordan. I'll be thrown up all over. It look like seagulls. No, it's me. All right. I need some little one. All right, come on. Is your mama come? Is your, where's your mama at? Right here. Oh, I thought you were the sister. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. <laughs> I'm getting brownie points everywhere. Who's got a camera they want to use? Yes. All right, we got to have it. She knows how to flick it over there to you. I don't know what they do with them, but you just flick a picture. All right. All right, next in line. Hold on, let these people get out. Come right here, brother. What's up? What's up? Hold right here. Right here for me. Wait on mom and daddy. All right. Come on, buddy. You like to dance? You like to dance? Oh, you don't want to dance. All right, get over there with daddy. He don't even want to look at it. Pull his hat off. You can't see his face. Come on. Ho, 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 ho. Got a little dress rehearsal here. Pull your hair out of your face, buddy. Nice. Yeah. Be happy. Smile, Mama. <laughs> Ready, smile. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you for coming to the Big Rock. Now go buy a T-shirt. <laughs> oh, Ohio. Ohio. Well, you ain't never seen nothing like this. All right. We, we, we have little fish. <laughs> All right, I got to stop now because we got to weigh a fish. So I'm done. Out. Over. All right, guys, we're going to put a little pause on the, uh, on the photo opportunity for a second. We're going to get back to business here. Welcome to uh, Real Naughty here to Big Rock Land. And, of course, there is a uh, competition for all of the game fish for dolphins, wahoos, and tunas. And, of course, the, uh, the big dolphin is worth $539,000. That's all. Y'all must be rich if that doesn't get a reaction out of y'all. That's a, that's a pile of money. That's a lot of money to even Henry Hinton right there. This is a rough crowd, Henry. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm doing my best. And I'm going to be here all week, too. That's, I'm really kind of worried. I know. I'm not going to. All right. All right, Brian McClure, our captain here. This looks like a big yellow fin with like 5,000 horsepowers on the back. 
No wonder he got here early. You gotta think fishing was over an hour and five minutes ago, and these boys are already back at the dock. This is gonna be a little dolphin. And of course, there is a daily prize as well, $2,000 a day for the largest dolphin, $1,000 for second place. Of course, quite a scene here at Big Rock Landing. We've got our second place, Blue Marlin, on the deck. Hubie Tolson with a few uh, acrobatics for us, totally unscripted. Although maybe we should have just said we arranged for that for the day. That would have sounded better, right? Well, let's see what we got here. 12.3 pound dolphin right here on the real knotty. Get to come in, uh, you know, one of the great things about the Big Rock Tournament is this is, uh, this is about as famous a place as you can find in the sport fishing business. And uh, Jeff McClure and Brian McClure are gonna take advantage of it weigh in a dolphin here on day two of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. That's probably gonna be Jeff's Christmas card this year would be my guess. How about a 12.3 pound dolphin on the real naughty? Jumping into first place today, 12.3 pounds. Good job, fellas. Let's check the clock here too. A few minutes after four right now, uh, fishing competition ended at three and the Lady Diane boated their fish right around three o'clock, a couple of hours for them to get to the dock. We would expect them here about five o'clock or so. And uh, between now and their arrival, we of course expect to see some more uh, game fish make the scales. Again, a very spirited competition for the dolphin category, A pile of money in that and daily prizes of course for uh for tunas and for wahoos and we'll check that leaderboard when we come back but stay with us here we'll uh, leave you with a shot of the beautiful moorhead city waterfront and get ready to talk to uh, jeff medlin here from first citizens bank our way station sponsor stay tuned
Every day, Tommy. Every day. <laughs> feedback over here too. We might be a little too close. You want us to move over a little bit? Conley, you get a picture of that? All right, well, welcome back uh, to those of you watching us on Big Rock TV around the world. Uh, 1.3 million people have tuned in so far uh, wow. in the last couple of days. Watch us here on Big Rock TV. And uh, for those of you uh, joining us here on the Moorhead City waterfront, I'd like to introduce Jeff Medlin from First Citizens Bank. Uh, Jeff has been a longtime supporter of the Big Rock Tournament, and of course, First Citizens Bank as well. Uh, have been with us for for quite some time. This year, we have. Uh, you can see uh, uh, their sign up here at the Way Station sponsor. So, first of all, Jeff, thank you for being with us. Absolutely, and, and, and thank you for your sponsorship and for everything that that will do in our community. Uh, now is your chance to tell us about First Citizens Bank. Tell us what you do primarily, and then tell us a little bit about the bank. Well, Tommy, uh, my title is I'm the manager of retail banking for Carteret, Craven, Pamlico counties. And what that means is I, I have the uh, branches in, in those three counties. And I just my job is to make sure we have everybody and everything in place to take care of the customers that call us their bank. And, and, and I, I take that job very seriously. And, and it's a job that I love to do. You know, now First Citizens has been in this uh, marketplace. I mean, North Carolina is home, first of all. It is. And a uh, uh, big presence here in, uh, in this marketplace. Tell us what, uh, you know, somebody that's out there looking for a, a new banking relationship. What could they do? What could they expect out of First Citizens? Well, Tommy, what I'd tell you is this, is that I appreciate your reference in the North Carolina roots of First Citizens. And, you know, we're celebrating 125 years uh, since the bank was founded back in 1898. And it was founded not too far down the road in Smithfield, North Carolina. And the, the bank was founded 125 years ago with sort of two simple purposes. They wanted to f provide a safe place for farmers, because let's face it, back then, most everybody in Johnson County was in agriculture. Um, safe place for farmers to put their money. And if occasion rose that they needed a loan, a uh, place they could get fair terms and, 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 a good, and a good deal. And you fast forward 125 years and a lot's changed. You know, we have uh, outgrown the confines of Johnson County by a little bit, but the two things that drive us um, are still the same. A safe place where folks can put their money and on occasion, if they need a loan, a place they can get fair terms and a good deal. And uh, we're just very proud of that, proud of the family leadership uh, that has been consistent with the bank now in our third generation of family leadership. So if that appeals to folks, we have branches all over the place, come see us. Yep, and they're very distinctive branches as well. You, it's, they're hard to miss. Indeed. I know personally, I am a uh, I'm a customer of First Citizens Bank. I particularly like the online banking. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, I, I used to have to go to the bank a lot. I was, you know, I was uh, in the retail business, and I went to the bank every day, and I, you know, I made relationships with the mm -hmm. tellers and that mm -hmm. kind of thing, and and it's that is great but i don't have to do that anymore you, you know and uh that online presence just works great fantastic it does so many of our customers that's how they interact with us these days but you know our small business customers and even our big business customers we still see them every day and develop the relationships with the folks that come to the bank and, and we really enjoy that that's right 
Now uh, we're we're missing Gordon Jethro mm-hmm. this week. We are. We won't we won't say where he is. We won't. Yeah, but uh, he's probably jealous. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'll, yeah, I'll tell I you what, know. Tommy. When we get the pictures <laughs> after that trip that he's on, we'll, we'll compare we'll notes. We'll compare notes. How about that? Although you can't, you really can't do much worse than this right well, here. We were, much better than this we, right we here. We were having a conversation uh, yesterday about paradise, and this mm-hmm. is about as good as it gets. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, any, anything else we, we need to talk about the bank? I know you, you, locally there, there are branches in, in uh, Beaufort, Moorhead, uh, Newport, Atlantic Beach. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's that's my footprint kind sure. of thing. Uh, sure. you, you mentioned they're, they're all over the place. Um, well, we got an office over in Havelock, uh, great leadership over there, a few offices in New Bern. Uh, that, for those tuning in down in Pamlico County, got great offices and leadership down there in Bayboro as well as Oriental. But, you know, First Citizens, we're all over the state of North Carolina. Well, not only all over the state of North Carolina, you're all over the country. You, you talked about being one of the safest banks in the country. You had an acquisition recently, the uh, you know, the third largest bank failure on record. And First Citizens came in and really rescued SVB. How, how has that gone? You know, it's still early, but, you know, one of the things that's so exciting about that opportunity is, is from what I understand, what wasn't there on the front lines, but from what I understand, so much of their business, they deal in different industries, but the customers they work with, the folks that they work with on a day-to-day basis, look and feel like a, a whole lot like the customers that we work with here in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and all over our footprint. So we really feel like there's some opportunities to build some synergy there and, and really take take what First Citizens does so well, that relationship banking out there to those SVB customers. So we're really excited about that. Yeah, and you know, we mentioned uh, 1.3 million people have watched us in the last couple of days. They are from all over the United mm-hmm. States, and uh, you can find a First Citizens Bank probably in your hometown, uh, wherever you might be watching us. So, uh, Jeff, uh, thank you for joining us, uh, you, you know, and uh, most importantly, thank you for your contribution to the Big Rock Tournament. We, we hope that we do you a, uh, a great service as you do for us, and uh, it's nice to see your name up on the uh, up on the way station. It looks good, doesn't it? No, it looks I really good. It looks, it I, came looks down, really I actually good. came down here Sunday to <laughs> take a peek at it, and I was like, you know, it looks really good. Yeah. Tommy, we just appreciate all the stuff uh, that the Big Rock Foundation does, the philanthropy, the economic impact of all this, the, the respect, and, and, and the, the sort of the, uh, for the heritage of folks that make their living out on the water. It's just all of those things make this such a premier event, and we're just happy to be a part of it. Great. Well, we're, we're happy to have you. Thanks Thank again you. for joining us today. Enjoy. Thank you, Enjoy the rest of the day and the rest of the week. Thank you, sir. All right, Jeff Medlin with us from First Citizens Bank, our uh, our way station sponsor this year, longtime sponsor of the Big Rock Tournament. So stay with us here. Uh, if you're out here on the uh, on the Moorhead City waterfront, enjoy yourself. A beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Lots of things to do. Make sure you stop by the Big Rock store, pick up a Big Rock hat or a T-shirt, and uh, remember, everything that you buy over there at the Big Rock store, all of those profits go to charities. So stay with us here as day two rolls on of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament.
Okay, welcome back, everybody, to Big Rock Landing on Big Rock TV. We've got people watching from around the world. Let's say hello, world. Hello. All right, there we go. Oh, that was great. All right, all right. We've had all sorts of celebrities down here today, and now we have one of the best magicians that you'll ever see in your life, my buddy Brian Sanders. Now, let me, let me warn you, okay? Some of this is going to be, you may have to be able to see the big screen back here behind us. Is that right, Brian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as, yeah, if everybody's seeing, they'll be able to see everything that goes on for sure. You're not going to want to miss this because this guy is unbelievable. Uh, Brian Sanders, his website is magic is bs.com bs stands for brian sanders i see the brain i see the magic is bs.com magic is bs.com that's very clever very clever but we're about to find out magic is not bs all right <laughs> all right i'm telling you this guy amazes every year you don't want to miss this watch closely can we get can we get one of you two to like come over here maybe oh like you want one of the kids over here oh, wow she, it's like all right. magic she just moves this all what right. is your name what's your name Lillian. Turn this way so you guys can get on camera here. Come yeah, right here. This is, this is your debut, not your day butt. Okay, so do me a favor. Hold your fingers out like this, all right? Hold your fingers out like this. This right here is a magic bag. Have you ever seen a bag like this before? No good answer, all right? Do me a favor. Hold on to this bag just like this, all right? Hold on to it, and you stand right here. Come stand right here. Come stand right here. Perfect. Yep, just hold it up like this. And you're going to stay like this for the rest of the evening until the fish comes in, okay? I'm just kidding. You're not going to do that. Who's got some money? Who's got a $20 bill? Either of y'all have a $20 bill? You got a 20? You got a 20? You know, here's the thing. I think I've given you a 20 before and never got it back. But I got a 10. You got a 10? Who's got a 20? You need a 20? You have a 20, sir? Excellent. Let's see if we'll borrow a 20 from him. Borrow is the uh, pertinent word there. All right, this gentleman's going to give us a $20 bill. Yes. And then we're going to get that. Parker's got it. Parker's bringing it right here. Excellent. All right, we got that $20 bill. Now, who's got 100 Anybody got 100 I'm just kidding. What was your name, sir? Woody. Woody. Woody, right here we have this $20 bill, okay? That is your $20 bill. What we need now is, is it okay if uh, Mr. Hinton signs it? Is that cool? All right, Mr. Hinton, do me a favor. I want you to sign your name. Put your John Hancock right across that $20 bill. Do it on the back right there. Excellent. All right. I just defaced your money. I yes, think you I'm going to prison. <laughs> is this your first felony? Yes, my first felony. Good answer. Everybody see Mr. Hinton's signature on that $20 bill. Everybody see it? Everybody see it on the 20? All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take your 20. Everybody remember that signature. We're going to take it. We're going to fold it once, twice, and four times. And as I fold up your $20 bill, it actually increases. It's in four creases right now. <laughs> do me a favor, Henry. Take your, take your fingers like this. Hold on to that bill. Hold on to it there, just like that. Next thing we need is the magical bandana of Walmart. Can I get it? Ooh, ah. Ooh, that was good. That was good. We're going to take this bandana, and we're going to place that $20 bill into darkness, just like this. We'll take the 20, and we'll, y'all can see it going inside. It's going to go inside just like this. And take your, take your fingers like you just had them before, and pinch onto the bill right there. Pinch onto the bill. On the count of three, something amazing is going to happen. Y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. There we go. Watch. One, two, three. And that $20 bill vanishes. That's amazing. And it's, it, and it's, it reappears in your back pocket. Oh, no. I was going to say it's on me somewhere, isn't it? I knew it. It reappears in your back pocket. That no. would have been a heck of a trick. No, it's not true. Trick. I don't have any money. No, Woody, here. Woody, I don't have your money. Woody, our friend here, you've been holding on to the bag the whole time, right? Now there's two items inside this bag. The first is a knife. Can you do me a favor? I want you to name name any fruit or vegetable out loud. Name any fruit or vegetable. Orange. An orange? An orange. Y'all act like this happens all the time. This is a miracle, by the way. She just said orange. No. Come on. I mean, you, did, now look, now check you didn't out. know there was an orange in there, did now you? Look, you didn't know that, right? No. Now look, hands are empty. Hands are empty. Look, we're going to do this. We're going to take this orange, and we're going to cut into it like this. Oh, no, you got to be kidding. you got to be kidding. Do me a favor. Can you twist the top of that orange off? Do you all see something growing inside right there? <laughs> see something growing inside? Mr. H Mr. Henry, go ahead and pull that out. Excellent job. That's a souvenir for you. There you go. <laughs> now, look, unravel that $20 bill. And if it has your signature on it, this whole audience is going to go nuts. Is that your signature? 
Get out of town. Inside the orange. Inside. I told you he was good, people. Listen. No, We've got, to, we've got to give that back to Mr. Woody, but before yeah. we do, we're going to do something with uh, with our uh, U.S. Army right here. Do me a favor, do me a favor, sir. Stand up. Yeah. Type in, uh, type in the month you were born, on the calculator. All right, hit multiply. Type in the day you were born. Hit multiply. And multiply by your age. Hit equals. We need a bigger number. Do me a favor, sir. You stand up. Hit multiply. Multiply it by a random four-digit number. Hit mul and then hit equals. We're going to multiply it one more time. Hit multiply, type in a random single-digit number. Hit equals. We've got this random number. We've got 9465390. Can you all see that? Yep. Can we all agree this number was randomly generated by you gentlemen, yeah? yeah right. This is what's crazy. This number means something to all of us. We borrowed a $20 bill from Mr. Woody over there. He's on the phone, but we borrowed a $20 bill from him a second ago. That $20 bill, you signed your name on it. What makes that $20 bill unique from every other bill in the world? That's the serial That's number? That's the serial number. Can you read that serial number out loud? You want to hold that for you? Hey, bro, hold on. Read it out loud. <laughs> Is that it right there? That's it right there. Call it out digit by digit. Nine, four, six, five, three, nine, zero, nine. Give them a huge round of applause. Appreciate it. You're man. unbelievable. <laughs> You're unbelievable. Thank you, Woody. And, and as part of my fee, I keep your 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Brian there. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Brian, yes, magicisbs.com. Magic is Thank BS. You so much. Go to his website, Brian Sanders. He's unbelievable. Look, you have to pay to see him in Las Vegas, but you saw him free to hear today. <laughs> And Henry, while all that was going on, the Sea Dogs just came in, weighed a 9.6 pound dolphin. Uh, got a nice picture here at Big Rock Landing. Yeah, all the outboards get here early, as George points out. So uh, remember, we do have the Lady Diane having boated a blue marlin. Expect them here around five o'clock or so. And if that changes, of course, we'll pass that along to you. Uh, never a dull moment here at Big Rock Landing. So stay with us here as day two rolls along.
All right, let's welcome A&W Tower Service here uh, to Big Rock Landing, a 13.3 pound dolphin. Going to take the lead here in the daily dolphin category. Jonathan Barton, our angler. Mike Gibbs, our captain. Again, another one of the outboard-powered boats in the tournament. They have their, uh, actually their own division as well, but they're competing against all the, all the uh, big boats too in the dolphin division. But there you go, a very nice 13.3 pound dolphin. Is this our junior angler? Is this a junior angler? It is? Oh, okay, so we're gonna weigh in another one with a junior angler, okay. Just a little reminder when you're out to dinner here in town and you see mahi mahi on the menu, this is what they look like right out of the ocean. Beautiful fish, very fast growing, great table fare. Get it any way you like it, it's gonna be good. Let's see here, we got another one. I think this is our junior angler coming up here. And of course, every year we welcome junior anglers to Big Rock Landing. We have special prizes for them. This is a two and a half pound dolphin. There you go. Tucker Barton, our angler here. What a proud moment for this young man. Maybe he'll come back next month and fish in the Big Rock Kids Tournament. Great job, Tucker, congratulations. Well, you can do a lot worse when you're fishing with your family, can you not? Great job, fellas. Congratulations, A&W Tower Service. Couple of nice dolphin there. The big one moving into the lead for the daily prize. A couple thousand bucks at stake. For all of the game fish, $1,000 for our second place game fish daily, and of course, well over $500,000 for the largest dolphin caught this week. And that one right now is 41 pounds, caught on the tuna tango yesterday. So we'll stay with you here. Y'all stay with us. We expect plenty more uh, excitement with game fish. Here comes another Wahoo. Let me check that leaderboard here. Yeah, we saw it yesterday, right before time at seven o'clock, Dale Britt and the Welder's Ark showed up at Big Rock Landing with a 59.7 pound Wahoo, very nice Wahoo. This will be our first one of the day. A 19.4 pound Wahoo. Let's see what we got, who's our boat here? And we got another one coming up right behind it. Bookie and Wahoos here, back to back. Okay, here's that 19.4 pound Wahoo caught on the fishy business. Brooks Walston, our angler, Captain Brad Chilton. Right now, and taking the lead, obviously, for that $2,000 daily prize. Again, another great eating fish. You get a chance to uh, see it on the menu around town. Highly recommend it. It's just great table fare. Those guys will eat well tonight and maybe uh, have a couple thousand dollars to boot. And I think we got another one coming right behind it. And 
And just so you'll know, we'll go over there in a minute, but all of the game fish are picked up here from the scales, taken over to the tent, um, actually to my right now, to your right also, to the uh, western end of Big Rock Landing, where they are placed into the capable hands of the NC State researchers from right here at the CMAS Center in Moorhead City. We'll go over there and talk to them in a second. Yeah, this is a 13.9 pound Wahoo. Gonna bump into second place there. And of course, as we said, this will leave here and go over to the uh, capable hands of the North Carolina State researchers for uh, stomach content uh, analysis. Fascinating and gross at the same time. Say it all the time, but it's really interesting. We'll go there and talk to those boys in a second. Let's get a picture taken. We'll head over there. All right, back to our 13.9 pound Wahoo. Let's see. Getting all the great pitcher instructions here. On the wave grader, Tommy Watson, our angler, Captain Thomas Stanley. Very nice Wahoo. Maybe it'll hold up, but they'll certainly eat well tonight. All right, let's hear it for the wave grader. Good job, fellas. 13.9 pound Wahoo, currently second place daily on day two of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Crystal? Henry? You're up. Sorry, we're changing on the fly. We'll go visit the NC State guys here in a second. So as we await the Lady Diane's arrival, I'll turn this over to Henry and Crystal. By the way, the um, the boobies and bubbles people are back. Oh yeah, they, they want they want to they want to get out of here. I said I said you get them out. Uh, she just walked away somewhere. They, I tell you, let me tell you, when that next fish comes in, it's going to be a party out here. Those guys are awesome. All right, here they are. Okay, okay now. Oh, we got the bubble maker already. I love it. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me introduce Crystal Hesmer, who is the president of the Big Rock Foundation. Do you guys know that in addition to all this great fun and fishing that we have, that the reason we are all gathered here on this hallowed ground in Moorhead City is because it's about raising money for the good of our Eastern North Carolina Carteret County communities. And let me tell you, the Big Rock has given away over eight million dollars eight point five million dollars so let's have a hand for crystal and the great job that they do all right now who has heard of the home my hometown raffle with a big rock who's heard of it all right good i'm glad you i'm glad you're all playing dumb because crystal's going to tell you all about it right now we got an opportunity for you to win twenty thousand dollars for the charity of your choice and it's it's a bird raffle. You know what that means? Bird raffle? Cheap, cheap. So, so Crystal's going to tell you all about how you can win $20,000 right now. Okay, guys. Um, in celebration of our 65th this year, we're running a raffle, a $10 ticket. We're going to pull the raffle next Saturday at 4 o'clock. You can win $20,000 for the charity of your choice. It can be in your hometown. It could be anywhere in the country. It does not have to be in North Carolina, Moorhead City. It can be anywhere. You get to be the hero for your charity. It can be your PTO. It can be your fire department. It can be anything. Um, we're very excited about this. We are, of course, a charitable tournament. Um, that's what part of our mission statement is why we exist. 
to give money back to our community, but we thought it would be so fun for you to give back to your own community and be your hero in your community. So buy a ticket, support the foundation, but also for a chance to be the hero for your favorite charity, it's $10. Um, we'll be coming around. I've got a card. You don't have to do it today. You can do it online, thebigrock.com. We do it here today. You, I have a QR code. If you have Apple Pay, it's quick and easy. But we'll be here all day, all afternoon. Um, love to sell it to you. Just raise your hand. I'll be coming around. Dylan will be helping me. And um, we'll be selling them all afternoon. Thank you so much. And if you, are, if you run a business... Um, you know, we've had several businesses step up. Yesterday, we were on Big Rock TV, and Tommy got a text from a friend of his in Swansboro saying that he was going to give $250 and wanted 25 tickets. So I had not bought my tickets yet. So I said, I will match that. And I bought 25 tickets. I wouldn't ask you to do something I'm not willing to do myself. And then Tommy said, and Tommy had already bought some tickets. So he, he said, well, I'll match your match. And then Josh stuck his head out of the, uh, Josh, stick your head out of the van. Josh is the man behind the curtain. Oh, there he is. There he is. Josh yelled out and said, I'll match your match, who your match was against his match. So we raised like $1,000 in like five minutes. And then this morning I was on the radio and a guy called in and said, I want to give 250 So who wants to match that? If you're running a business and you want to match that, we would love to hear from you. Just yell at us, and we'll come over to see you. But you don't have to give two fifty. We're happy with a ten dollar donation and a ten dollar raffle ticket. So, so yeah. So one of the businesses, um, Henry, from your show, was Woods Fence Company out of Beulahville, and um, he called in and said, "I want to do two hundred and fifty dollars, and I want to encourage any fence company." to match this donation. Well, one of our winners from 2006, Chainlink, um, called and said that they want to match oh, this donation. Awesome. So we're, awesome. we love this matching um, donation and we'd love for you to think of the business for that you would love to get to match these donations. We think this is a great way to continue to raise this money throughout the week. So call in, um, I've, I've got these cards. You can go on our website. My name is Crystal Hesmer. 252-241-1515. I don't mind putting it out there. It's right on the website. Um, call me. I'll be happy to get it out there for you. Just let's get it going. We want to get this thing going and really raise some money for charity. $10. Who wants a $10 ticket? We'll come out there right now. Come on. <laughs> Who's going to be the first? There you are. Right here. We got a $10 one over here. All right. Let's get her on TV. It's Hey, look. We like leadership. We love leadership. Thank you very much. What is your name? Carissa. Where are you from? Uh, Florida, Vero Beach. Why? This person's from Florida, and she's donating $10 for the community. If you win the 20000 you can take it back to Florida. We hope you don't. No, we hope you'll it. leave it here. I'll keep it here because we actually live here right now. So. Have you got any ideas about where you're going to put the 20000 No idea. You can give it to your church, the fire department, the Little League, the uh, Cancer Society. Give it to you. All right, just for that, you have to buy a $10 ticket. And I know you got 20 in your pocket because <laughs> it's got my name on it. Come on, Woody. Let's go. All right. So we'll come around. We got another one over here. Yeah. Randy and George just matched from the North Carolina. Our Waymasters just matched from the North Carolina Billfish Series. Just went in for the user. No, 250 from, the North, from George and Randy in the North Carolina Billfish Series. Hey, we just got another match on the 250. George and Randy from the North Carolina Billfish Association. Where are you guys? There's George. Everybody, everybody knows Crazy George. Where's Randy? Randy's walking up. They just matched our 250. Let's hear it for them. Come on. $250. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. See, I mean, it's the people out here working and doing, doing this stuff that want to be a part. Are you going to do it? We, all right, we got another one. Crystal, when, Crystal, when you're done, I'll bring you over. By the way, I want, let's show this young lady right here on television. I would like for you to tell everybody where you got that hat. Big Rock. Where'd you get it? Over in the Big Rock store? Yeah. Look at that good looking hat, everybody. Who has bought a Big Rock hat so far? Who's bought a Big Rock t-shirt so far? All of that money also goes to the charities. 
So thank you all very much. It's all about giving back. All about giving back. I want a card to go online. I don't have any cash. All right, we got somebody who wants to go online. Krista, we got some we got some heavy act activity down here in this corner. And look, George finally finally came off at twenty. Well, the ten. You mean to sign a ten? <laughs> What's that? Anybody got Apple Pay? You want to do that? If anybody's got Apple Pay, we can take that right now. This crowd, this crowd looks as non-techy as myself. They don't have Apple Pay. Randy. So uh, I don't know how many years George and I have worked. Somebody can tell me. George might be able to tell you. So uh, probably in 1991 was the first year I was down here. So anyway, we do the North Carolina Billfish Series, and I want to challenge all these guys are out fishing so but we'll keep this going maybe and maybe they'll be in here on their lay day or we can put it up somewhere but i challenge all the north carolina billfish series uh boats this year to do the same all right how's that for a challenge you keep that going through the week and we'll let them know on i love it i love it so thank you randy thank you george you guys are awesome oh yeah and uh they just told me that, that we're having a Marlin tournament right here. And we're going to weigh in uh, the Lady Diane here in just a minute. They're in the turning basin. So everybody get your cameras out. All right, but if you want if you want tickets, Crystal's working the line here. She'll get to you. Just yell at her, and we'll get her over there to you. Tommy?
So guys, this is this is the waste knot right here. Beautiful 67 foot Jarrett Bay. I don't know, they're probably gonna weigh in a game fish here. I have I a, tell trivia, you, I have you, a you, trivia for you. You gotta like them when they come in like they mean it like that. You know there are two waste knots in this tournament? I did not know that. There are, there's another one, it's not a Hatteras. I mean another, uh, not a Jarrett Bay. Introduce it. All right, guys, we have a junior angler, Kelson Daniels, weighing in a 13.9 pound mahi. We're getting the guys of Waste Knot off the boat right now to do something very special. Over the last couple years, the Big Rock has worked with the International Game Fish Association to uh, present the Great Marlin Race to our participants, and the Waste Knot have been loyal supporters of that, uh, that effort. And recently, they had a tag pop up from a fish they tagged last year that had some really amazing and incredible results. So we will let Bruce from the IGFA here tell you about that in just a second. But this year we had four boats sponsor tags and get them out, hopefully during the tournament this year. Waste not being one of them, the uh, right hook, stream weaver, and of course the welder's arc that we saw earlier deploy a tag. So we wanna give a huge shout out to all of the boats that continue to support that effort. And we're gonna grab a couple pictures with the $16,000 check from the Big Rock Foundation to the IGFA for the Great Marlin Race.
All right, guys, so this is the third year that the Big Rock has worked with the IGFA, the International Game Fish Association, to present the Great Marlin Race. If you tuned in to our live stream throughout the day this morning, you saw Chloe Michaels on the Welder's Arc deploy a satellite tag, which was incredible. And now we're going to go to Bruce as soon as they wrap up taking some pictures to talk about the tag. Scott, Michael, Vin, anyone want to say anything about the Great Marlin Race and deploying a tag? Well, it's really great. I mean, I think this is probably the third one that we've uh, we've tagged. And we tagged one in the Big Rock last year. It didn't make it very far. And then we tagged one a little later in the year up in Ocean City, and it went a long ways. Um, the information you guys are getting back from these tags is unbelievable. It tells us a lot about the fish and how they eat and how they live and how they migrate around. And it's it's really awesome. awesome. Well, Vin, we appreciate you supporting the program year after year. Scott, would you like to say anything? Yeah, I just, uh, you know, these guys are doing a great job and uh, it's it's just something that will help our kids and their kids and future anglers. That's right. That's right. So all of these tag collect really important data that help our researchers like Bruce himself further conservation methods. So we'll talk to Bruce here a little bit more about the specifics of their tag. Anyone else from the boat want to say anything? Awesome. Well, hopefully later this week we'll be going live offshore with the crew of Waste Knot whenever they boat a big blue or possibly release some billfish. So thank you all so much for coming by and thank you for all the support that you give us. All right, guys, as we say goodbye to the Waste Knot crew, let's get Bruce from the IGFA to tell us a little bit more about Waste Knot's tag that they deployed last August. And Bruce, where'd that fish travel to? 
So this is actually one of the most interesting tracks uh, we've ever seen on a blue marlin. This fish went from Ocean City, Maryland, swam over uh, to the east and, uh, and southeast past Bermuda, and then swam down uh, past Central, or to the edge of uh, South America, and then went all the way down the coast and popped up off Brazil. Um, we've never seen a tag from this part of, uh, of the U.S. that was tagged here travel all the way down the West Atlantic. Uh, usually these tags tend to go, you know, towards Bermuda, to the north. Sometimes we have them go over towards Africa and then south. But this is the first one we've had go this far south on this side of the Atlantic. So it's, it's, a, it's a really cool result. We're hoping to get some more from the tags this year. Just to give you a little bit of background on what the program is, it's called the IGFA Great Marlin Race. It's a partnership with uh, Stanford University, specifically Dr. Barbara Block's lab that Chloe, as you saw earlier, is a, a PhD student in. And um, the program really is only made possible through the, um, the recreational angling community. The way it works is um, people such as the guys on the Waste Knot will sponsor a tag, uh, and then they'll deploy that tag. So it's a citizen science program, and then it's a race. So the fish that pops, the, the tag that pops up the furthest away wins the race. I have a really good feeling, well, um, Scott's tag, the Waste Knot's tag this year won the last year's big rock race, but I have a really good feeling it's gonna win our overall annual race, which is uh, the tag that travels the furthest uh, in any given year. We tend to put out between 35 and 50 tags each year, and, and this was a really impressive one. I actually have the numbers for you. So this tag, uh, a direct line from Ocean City, Maryland to where it popped off was 4,149 nautical miles. And the overall track that this fish traveled in 240 days was 7,819 nautical miles. And the fish dove down to as deep as 1,070 feet, where it's only 54 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're getting a lot of really cool information from this. And all of this is used to you know, better manage and uh, better conserve these stocks for future generations. I think that about does it, guys. So really cool science that the IGFA, Stanford, Great Marlin Race is doing. And right now we've got a weigh-in going on. More on that later. We'll have Chloe Michaels come by and you watched her deploy a tag earlier. We do have a 5.5 dolphin that came in from Keeping It Real. So want to get a shot of that? Carly, while we were uh, recognizing the waste knot, they jumped into first place in the dolphin division for today with that 13.9 pound dolphin. Again, $2,000 for that daily prize. $1,000 for second place bumps uh, A&M Tower Services with that 13.3 pound dolphin down into second place. So we are awaiting the arrival of the Lady Diane. Oh, that my, there she is right there. So the Lady Diane is coming up right over here behind the big screen. Oh, we have a paramedic in the house. We need somebody right back over here. By the telephone pole, anybody that can render some aid. Okay, we're good. Okay. They said they said they were okay. All right, guys, this is the Lady Diane. This is a 60-foot Bertram. Ties up over in Beaufort, another local boat. Do not bet against the locals in this tournament because they are good at it. This team or this boat was entered in the 26th annual KWLA tournament that happened here on Monday. I mean, on, uh, excuse me, on Saturday. And... Uh, they had a fantastic team. Some of them are here, and you'll see the little bubble machine that they had with them in a minute. Did a great job in the KWLA tournament with a nice prize winning dolphin. So let's welcome the Lady Diane here from Beaufort, North Carolina to Big Rock Landing. There you go. Again, the Lady Diane is entered in the level five fabulous fisherman's level. That first fish over 500 pounds. 
And again, that prize, $739,500 payable right on the spot. So we're looking for that 500-pound fish. And, of course, you saw it earlier today. The second-place Blue Marlin, 463.7 pounds, Captain Bull Tolson and the Sea Toy. And, of course, in first place right now, 470.2 pounds, caught yesterday on the Sea Student. Let's go take a peek. All right, our Waymasters, Randy and George, have uh, hopped in the cockpit there, taking some measurements, zeroed out the scales. And let's pick her up here. All right, we need a little encouragement here. Maybe, maybe you can cheer it up a few pounds here. All right, guys, this one is not going to make the tournament minimum weight of 400 pounds. Yeah, big collective sigh there. A beautiful blue marlin nonetheless. And Lady Diane with a uh, great performance in the KWLA tournament. But this one is not quite going to make it.
All right, guys, Henry's going to come around and kind of ask you where you're from. Let's see where everybody's from. All right, everybody, who's having fun? Who is having fun? You want to tell me to talk to him? All right. Where are you from? Holland, Michigan. Holland, Michigan? That's where the cold weather is, isn't it? Pardon me? That's where the cold weather is. That is cold. Are you a Wolverine fan? I am. You know that my ECU Pirates are playing up there. I'm going to the big house <laughs> for the first time in history. Have you, do you go? Yes. I bet you have better tickets than me. Can we talk? <laughs> I haven't been for a while, so. Do you have, do you have a prediction on the game? Uh, no. What he says, ECU. <laughs> hey, he's being very careful. Being very careful. You mean, all right. Look, whenever they're going like, I know somebody wants to talk. Get on up here. Where are you from? Missoula, Montana. Missoula, Montana. How, how is how is it in Missoula? Um, nice, rainy. Yeah. It's, it's not like Moorhead City nice, is it? No, of course not. <laughs> All right. What are you doing down here? I'm visiting my friends right here. You got you from where? Beaufort. So All right. Good. Nice. Good. Well, welcome from Montana. It's great to have you here. Is this your first Big Rock? Yes, yeah. What's your What's your impression? Oh, awesome. Isn't this fun? Yes. Lots of fun. All right. Thank you. Great. All right, who wants to talk? Who wants to talk? Let's talk to these guys. Let's talk to these guys. You'll be on TV? Yes. All right. Tell me where you guys are from. I'm from Goldsboro, North Carolina, but we live in Cedar Point. That's a good place to live. All right, who we got here? What's your name? Fuller. Ford? Fuller. 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 Chris. Chris. Fisher. Richard. Richard, I like those expensive sunglasses. Fisher. What? Fisher. 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 All right, I like those expensive sunglasses, Fisher. What's your name? Aubrey. 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 These guys have some nice names. What's your name? Grayson. Grayson. What's your name? Franklin. Franklin. What? Franklin. Philip? Franklin. Franklin. I wasn't even close. What's your name? Harper. What? Harper. Harper. I love that name. All right, how about you? What's your name? My name's Owen. Oh, where are you from, Owen? A husky. A husky, Hertford County, North Carolina. I know where that is. They got a big water ski thing up there next weekend. Do you ever go to that? Beaver Lake? Huh? You ever go to Beaver Lake? No. You ever see any beavers? Yeah. You have? What's your name? Hey Jackson. Henry, our, hey Henry, our guests, our guests are leaving too. So ah, let's hear it for these guys. <laughs> let's hear it for the U.S. Army, everybody. Come on, guys, get out here and take a bow. Thanks, fellas. Awesome. Y'all have a safe trip home. You guys, be careful. Thank you, thank you for your service. All right, let's talk some more kids. Let's get them down here. You want to be on? No, no, don't leave. Don't leave. You thought you were going to get away, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Justin. Where are you from? Uh, Newport. Newport. You're local. All right, good. Come in here. Man, let me ask you a question. Did you have chocolate ice cream today? Yeah. You know how I knew? How? Because half of it's on your face. <laughs> you know, you could, still, you could still put your finger up there and get some more ice cream, and you got a lot left up there. What's your name? Felix. Where are you from? Rhode Island. Where? Rhode Island. Rhode Island? Wow, what are you doing here? Um, just, okay. I'm living here because, well, aren't now. All right, Henry, let living me, let me, let me hop in there real quick. <laughs> Henry, let's welcome the double B here to Big Rock Landing. Harry Smith and crew aboard. Captain Parker Henry here from Atlantic Beach. Harry has made the uh, ultimate challenge this year, Henry. He said he was going to donate any prize money he won to some local charities. So let's see what we got here.
Well, I say he's going to take the lead in the uh, Daily Dolphin Division. 13.9 pounds is that figure we're looking for. Second place right now is 18.4. I think they're going to be there. And, of course, leading right now on the Tuna Tango, a 41-pound dolphin. All right, this is a 35 and a half pound dolphin here on the Double B. Harry Smith, our angler, boat owner. Parker Henry, our captain, of course. Jumping into second place. Almost there, gonna beat that 41 pound dolphin. Harry, get your picture taken. Let's come over here and talk about uh, what you're gonna do with all your winnings, too. Or, or maybe you do that first. Come here for a second. Watch your step. Y'all, Harry Smith here from uh, from the Double B, the owner and angler today. You you made a uh, a statement before the tournament started about what you might do with your prize money winnings. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we're donating 100 percent of everything we win this year. We picked three charities. We picked uh, Paul's for Hereford for the dogs, Carteret County Humane Society. And my good friend and rock star, Crystal Heisman, on the foundation. So anything we win this year, 100% goes up for charity. There you go. What, what a great offer, Harry. We, we appreciate that. Tell us what it means to, uh, to fish in a tournament like this. This is your hometown tournament, yeah, too. I mean, you know, we've been doing it a long time. And, you know, for us, it's really about the camaraderie. Uh, you know, the fishing community is really one big family. And so, you, you know, we love it one you know, our competitors catch big fish. We're great with it. We're excited. The biggest thing is what it does for the local community and the local economy. And so, you know, this tournament really has changed the town and changed the region. And I think uh, everyone is blessed to have the Big Rock Board and the representation that we got leading the tournament and all the great things that are going on. But what this tournament does for this town and the local community is really unmeasurable. And we're just excited to be a part of it. And, you know, we're, we're obviously pulling for ourselves. We'd love to give a lot of money away. <laughs> that would be great. Well, well said, and we appreciate it. Thank you so yeah, much. Appreciate yeah. you, brother. Glad to have you here at Big Rock Landing on the Double B. Thank you, Harry. Have a great tournament. Yeah, hey, y'all, Carly, Carly pointed out a little trivia to me. We've, we've mentioned Parker Henry here. Parker, step up to your, your belly rail there. Come on. Can Parker not hear me? Yeah, Parker, Parker's uh, grandfather, right? Dick Parker was one of the founders of the Big Rock Tournament in 1957. So that legacy lives on right there uh, on the uh, bridge of the Double B. Parker and uh, up there with his dad today, Keith Henry having a great time. So good job, fellas. Always good to see you here. Thanks for your family's contribution to the Big Rock Tournament. We wouldn't be here without you.
All right, well, let's say goodbye to Double B. Moving into second place there in the Dolphin Division and first place for the daily prize as we weigh in a 10.9 pound dolphin on the weekend hooker. Trevor Cardia, our angler. Pat Davis, our captain. And Henry, I just heard uh, this match thing, this $250 match thing you started yesterday is paying off. Uh, one of my buddies from Beaufort, North Carolina, I haven't asked him if I can use his name yet, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Has he said something to you about it? I asked him if we could say his name. You know, here's what I say. It's easier to get forgiveness and permission. So we should, we should just go ahead and thank Sam Sellers right now. Is that what you're Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Okay, all right. He'll, maybe Sam. he'll let us use his name. But Sam anyway, Sellers, great American. This, this matching thing is working pretty well. We just got another $250 match from, uh, from Beaufort, North Carolina. So we're That's delighted awesome. about that. So day two rolls on here. Uh, the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. That is it for Blue Marlins today. But we expect maybe some more game fish. Uh, dolphins, wahoos, and tunas. And we will uh, stay with you here, let you know if we hear of anything coming in that will be noteworthy. And, of course, uh, we'll be here with you. The scales are open until 7 o'clock tonight as day two rolls on to a conclusion. Great fishing today. 54 billfish caught and released as of a few minutes before 3. We'll have to update that before we go off the air tonight. 48 blue marlins two white marlins and four sailfish caught and released today. So stay with us here. Enjoy a beautiful afternoon on the Moorhead City waterfront. Lots to do. Make sure you go hit the Big Rock store and remember everything that you purchase over there, those profits go directly to charities here in Moorhead City and Eastern North Carolina. All right, another dolphin hits the scale. 7.2 pounds on the Motley Crew. Ashley Duff, our angler. L.H. Turner, our captain, not going to move that leaderboard. But, of course, a great pitcher. Get to stand here at Big Rock Landing where so much history has been made, including today the great Captain Bull Tolson makes landfall here today on the Sea Toy, weighing in a 463.7-pound blue marlin to take second place. So things will keep rolling in here, and we will bring it to you, of course, as we go along. Carly, Carly, We've got Carly, a big Carly, Mahi Carly. coming in. Tell us. Yep, we got a big dolphin about to hit the scales that's coming in from the 58-foot Jarrett Bay skip hook. You guys can see by the size of that thing, the way he's bringing it to the scales, it is going to be a big one, that's for sure. The current first place Mahi is 41 pounds from Tuna Tango. We saw them bring that to the scales yesterday. And just a reminder that Level 7 Dolphin Winner Take All is sponsored by Parker Boats. Total prize money in that level is $539,750. So this might put them in the lead for that division and a half a million dollars. What's the number they got to, what number they got to beat? 41 pounds. Got to be bigger than 41 pounds. And I got a feeling it might be. It looks like it. This one could be a $500,000 fish. Fifty-nine point three. It's in the lead. You don't have the money yet, but it's looking pretty good. That's a good fish. That is a nice fish. All right, guys. Since we just have a new Dolphin winner take all leader, let's go ahead and do a giveaway for anyone in the crowd who wants a free Parker Boats t shirt. Who wants it? Oh. 
There we go. Good catch. Parker Boats is based right down the road in Beaufort, and they are the Level 7 Dolphin winner-take-all sponsor. And these guys just took the lead in that level, again, worth half a million dollars. The spirit of giving, that is a 58-foot Jarrett Bay that brought in that fish. So who wants a Jarrett Bay t-shirt? Good catch, good catch. Stand right here. The angler's got the little boy time. I know your son. He's a fine man, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you you want to talk to me and tell me how? Tell me about this fish, real well, quick. Well, um, or you want me to get the angler? You ought to get. You ought to get Aaron the angler. Is, is this? Yeah, Aaron? he's bringing his son up here. Now. Okay. All right. All right, everybody. This is Aaron Moody, our angler on the uh, 59.3 pound dolphin. How does it feel to uh, make landfall at Big Rock Landing? and potentially win over a half a million dollars. Uh, it feels really good. We, uh, we had a good day today. We suffered through it yesterday, so to be able to get this fish this morning, uh, get, get us on the board, it was a really great time. I got lectured all the way up here about not dropping that fish before I got up here, so <laughs> it feels really, really good. Tell us, about, uh, tell us about your day, the condition. I know you mentioned yesterday a little sporty, a little better today. Uh, a lot better today. We had a really good time out there this morning, so... It was uh, a lot more enjoyable fishing this morning. Did you, uh, is this the only bite you had? Did you have a few more? We, uh, we actually caught one at the exact same time. So we were trying to get a line in, had the cow dolphin on there. So we, we at first thought that the way the thing was pulling that it, that it was a bigger fish. So we, were, uh, we, we knew it was a big dolphin whenever we, we realized it was a dolphin. We were really excited because we knew it was a big dolphin. How was you, who was your gaff man and how did he do? <laughs> right here, we call him Joe, Joe Seegers. Uh, so I appreciate it. Jo Joe knows everything. And, and uh, once that gaff gets in his hand, he kind of starts taking control over the boat and, and giving directions, getting everybody out of the way. A little whooping and hollering when it hit the deck? For certain, for certain. We, we, we took a second, then we realized we need to get some lines back in the water and, and keep fishing. There you go, true fisherman. All right, well, congratulations to you. What a catch, a 59.3-pound dolphin, a dramatic uh, jump into the lead here, maybe $500,000 and some change. I don't know that I'd spend all of it yet, but you might have a nice dinner tonight. You know, I think you're okay. Congratulations to the skip hook. Aaron, thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Well done today. Yeah, let's hear it for Aaron Moody, Captain Kelly Williamson, and the skip hook. What a great catch. 59.3 pound dolphin right here on day two of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Your leader, fish is worth almost $540,000 sitting there on the deck right now. Stay with us, day two rolls on here of the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. All right, let's welcome the high yield here to Big Rock Landing. It looks like we're going to see our first tuna fish. High yield was your third place winner last year. A 500 plus pound blue marlin. Walked out of here with a couple of hundred thousand bucks last year. They know what it's like to be here at Big Rock Landing. And uh, this being the first tuna fish of the tournament, it is now in the lead in every category 
every tuna category in the tournament. We'll get a wait here in just a second. Again, we've talked about this is a 42.8 pound tuna fish. Uh, jumping into the lead there, the weekly and the daily leader. We've talked about how well dolphins, uh, the mahi, mahi, and wahoo eat this equally as good table fare. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Bernard Lenny, our angler here. He was our third place angler last year. Captain Paul Wiseman. I'm here with Bernard Lenny, the angler on the 42.8 pound tuna on the high yield. Bernard, welcome back to Big Rock Landing. Thank you, thank you very much. Tell us what it feels like to stand here and weigh in a tuna fish and a uh, prize winning blue marlin from last year too. Well, we're really happy to be here today, man. It was hard work today, it was really tough. We went way out in the abyss, tried to catch a, a, big, a big sea monster sure. today, try to hang something good. Caught a tuna, uh, glad to get it, and super charged to be here today. Think about last year's fish a little bit, too. Tell us, your smile just broke out on your face. Tell us what kind of memory that's like well, now. You know, that's a dream come true for us. Hanging a fish here, getting third place last year. Really, really amazing. It was a really eventful for us. We were just glad to be there. Sure. Well, welcome back. Glad to have you. Congratulations. What you going to do next next couple of days? Well, we're going to be out take a couple lay days, I believe, and then try to hang a fish Friday or Saturday. There you go. Good luck to you. Thank Thanks. you for your time. Thank you very Appreciate much. it. Congratulations. All right, there's your uh, leading tuna fish here in the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. 42.8 pounds on the high yield out of Charleston, South Carolina. Again, last year's third place winner. And I uh, walked out of here with 200,000 bucks last year. It's nice to have them back. So. We are rolling on as day two comes to a close. It's quarter to six. Scales will be open until seven, and we'll stay with you here as long as the action continues uh, as day two comes to a conclusion, the 65th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. We got another challenge over here. Somebody, we got people meeting our challenge. Can you believe this? All right, uh, first of all, we need to thank Sam Sellers again if you missed this yesterday, we started this business challenge for the Big Rock Foundation for the My Hometown Ch Raffle, which are $10 a ticket. A friend of Tommy's called in and said, who was that? That was John Ritchie from Swansboro. All right. He said he'd give 250. I said I'd match it. Tommy said he'd match it. Then the guys at TriWorks, Josh stuck his head out the window of the van, said he'd match it. Then this morning on my radio show, somebody else, what was that gentleman's name? Do you remember? Uh, uh, Woods Fencing out of Beulahville. They they matched it. And then Sam Sellers matched it. And Randy then, and George matched it over yeah, here. Brand, Broadway Masters. Uh, Randy and George matched it. And then Rand, uh, where's Brantley? Did he leave? Brantley, where'd you go? Brantley Rivers from Acme Block and Brick Company. In uh, Kingston, Tennessee. But he played football at ECU. That's not that's how there I know you Brandon. Go. He gave uh, he gave two fifty. Now I have an announcement to make. My friend Jim Holmes, old friend of mine from Raleigh, from Sentinel Insurance. You're a competitor, Tommy. Sorry. 
he say he no 